Hey, what's going on guys? This is Tiger from Black Tiger Visuals coming to you with Creative Destruction. This is part two of Traps and Gadgets. As of the update, they added the springboard and the wormobile, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use these. You make them exactly the same way as you make any of the other gadgets and traps in this game. You're going to need your bear figurine material as well as a few mats also to make these devices. Now, I'm going to show you some different ways of using these. As you can see right here on the screen, the springboard is now in the traps and gadgets section so you can take a look at it what it looks like is a piece of wood with some spring on it so the spring is to bounce jump off now what you want to use this for is jump off and dive into different sections of the map depending where you're trying to go it doesn't matter but there's different ways of using it as well now the first thing you want to do is find a location you want to sit your springboard. They're not be able to adjust to sit anywhere, so you got to find some surface. Now, as you can see, I sat it here where it can flatten out a little bit. So first thing you notice, it takes you straight up into the air. Then it's going to take you where you want to go. So right now, I'm going to go right back down. As of right now, I was having trouble at first understanding the direction of this of the landing. So. I said, all right, let me go ahead and give it a second try here. Jump right back on it. And let me go ahead and try to get close, as close as possible to the safe zone before the storm starts to come in. Now, you can use this the same way you use the coat propeller. Try to get across the map as fast as you can and as far as you can away from the safe zone. Or you can use it for diving into or jumping on top of buildings or charging at enemies. Now, I'm going to show you some prime examples of what you do to when it comes to combat if you want to use this door to combat there is some risk at this and there also is some very very good things you could do with this now right here I am caught in the storm so what I'm gonna to want to do is okay let's try to get a little further out so let's go ahead and sit this right back down and let's go ahead and try to get out the storm as much as fast as possible now now here's what now here's the situation that I fell into. I see an enemy running across the field, in the open field, so I turned my direction so he does not see me landing in. Since I already know where he is, now I'm in good position to go ahead and spray this guy up and take him out. That is another way and a very good way of using the springboard. Now, we're going to jump into the Warmobile next, and we're going to jump back into the springboard because I will show you two different ways of using both of them in the same setting now right here i'm going to go ahead and place a warmobile down as you can see it's right there to my right while i was trying to loot up at the same time here so now does now you could now some people don't know what to use these for they what they do is they destroy most most of anything that's in front of it as far as buildings mats uh rocks containers it goes right through trees the only thing it does not do, it does not go up steep hills or mountains. It's not going to go up. It's only going to go straight down or straight forward. So what you now what you see what I'm doing here is I am riding the back of it. If someone was in front of it, they would not be able to see me, but they would be able to shoot it down. But right now, we are in the storm, so I don't think anybody's going to be trying to shoot it down as of now unless they are being greedy. So here's... All right, here we go. So there's people fighting across, across the map here. Uh, right in front of me somewhere so what I did is I stuck the warmobile down you can see the shots right above that right on the other side of that hill so what I'm trying to do here is create a decoy the first initial thought for a enemy they're gonna think there could be somebody inside of there so what is he gonna want to do is probably shoot it down now I'm unsure of my exact direction I don't know if the angle is perfect so what I did here is I created another one because just in case he doesn't see that one and that one gets destroyed before he he actually notices anything let's go ahead and put another one down now i'm going to go ahead and flank right and see if i can find this enemy let's see if this decoy actually even works i know there were shots over here somebody's gonna notice these warmobiles and let's see how well and how effective is this now here's the shots as i try to Cover my guard in the middle of this. Now you can see the warmer build to my left. Now, you see a guy right there shooting. He's going to turn around and notice the warmer build. And that is going to give me a great location. So now this guy is running across the open. Now, to check this out. I know exactly where he is. 
because I tricked him with the Warmobile. So here, let's go back to the springboard. Let's go back to the springboard. Now I know where this guy is. Now here is the upside of charging at an enemy with a springboard. Here we go. Okay, so I know exactly where he is, and I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So as I'm headed in, now there's some risk to this, because if he sees me in the air, he can start spraying me up immediately. Looks like he tried to put up a wall. He might have had an idea that I was coming. But right here, boom, landed in the right perfect spot where he couldn't get the angle on me. So, but another person did see me, so that is another risk. Now I'm going to show you the downside to this situation. So you got to be very careful at charging at the enemies. Now let's. Now here's the situation where it's a uh, only three people left, and I got greedy and I saw a guy and wanted to do it again. I thought I could do it again and make good video, but here's the risk: the guy that this guy was shooting at, he sees me in the air. Now you can see that he's trying to shoot at me because I've been spotted by the other guy that he shoot at. Look, I have a perfect shot at getting this guy if the other guy didn't see me. So this guy's trying to scope. But now, I have put myself in a risky situation, lost a lot of health. And now these guys are going to go ahead and charge in. And they already know where I'm at. So that puts me in a bad spot. And I took the fall. Guys, this is Tiger from Black Tiger Visuals with Traps and Gadgets, man. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.